Hey, hey, welcome everyone to this week's episode of the Amazon Files brought to you by Mommy Income. I am your host, Kristen Ostrander, and I have a question for you. Do you know what to do next in your business? Do you have chaos surrounding you at all times? Are you pulled in a hundred thousand different directions on every single day and full of chaos and disorganization, or at least some of the time. I don't know if you're like me, but that's exactly how I feel a lot of the time. Pulled in all kinds of different directions. I wear many hats. I have many roles. So how can you find peace among all this chaos? How can you get things done and stay organized and stay on top of your business? Because that's the deal here. We want to stay on top of our business. We want to get more done. Why? Because when we get more done, usually we make more money. We have a list of things that we have to do. Why? Because it improves our business. Y'all, if you have a bunch of task lists that don't benefit you in some way, throw them away. We have a list of tasks and to-dos because we find them important. And so there is a way that you can change your business daily. 15 minutes at a time. I'm going to talk to you and remind you, for those who have been hanging out here for a long time, you're going to be reminded again of the 15-minute hustle, what it is and how it can actually help you. Y'all, I live my life based on 15-minute hustles. I have a timer for those of you guys. Podcasters, you can't see this, but you guys are on YouTube. This sits on my desk. It is a timer. Yes, it's a 60-minute timer, but I live and die by this timer. I literally do. Like this is seriously what I live by. You know why? Because sometimes tasks are hard. You don't want to. You don't know how. You don't feel like it. You're procrastinating. But honestly, when you set a timer and get things done, it's so great. So we're going to dive into what this actually looks like, how you can utilize my number one time management strategy, my number one get things done strategy. You want to plow through your to-do list, live and die by the 15-minute timer. Now, I'm going to show you and teach you a little bit how of this works so that if you're new to the 15-minute hustle, you don't have to worry about how you do this. First of all, the 15-minute hustle is my ebook. It's a book that I've written and comes along with my 15-minute hustle chart that you can pick up for yourself. It's 15minutehustle.com. 15 is the number 15. 15 minute hustle.com. It's also the 15 minute hustle is on Amazon. You can download it in Kindle and I think um, in your ebooks, wherever else. But the 15 minute hustle book that I wrote, it's a little mini ebook, but I can show you how I get things done and I use the 15 minute hustle. You guys, I am the queen of procrastination. I am, these are my confessions. I am pretty unorganized. I'm like, I have like organized chaos, if that makes any sense to anyone, to where there's the people like, I know if you guys saw my interview a couple of weeks back, I know Ryan is a very, very organized person. My mom is super organized. Like I know a lot of people that have just like, everything is color coded and they've got, you know, all the stuff. I'm like a work in progress, like a mini work in progress. Like I shouldn't be a beginner. I can't call myself a beginner because I've been trying to organize <laughs> since like, I don't know, forever. Um, but I do know a few things on how I can motivate myself to get done because it's hard. Let's just be real. It's hard to be self-motivated all the time. It's hard to have 101 things to do when you're the CEO and the janitor. It's hard. Not going to lie. So when you don't feel like doing the things that you don't feel like doing, it's time to just get it done. So when it comes to running your businesses, it seems like there's endless to-do tasks and at home, to be honest, endless to-do tasks. How do you get it all done? Well, with the 15-minute hustle. That's how I get things done all the time. I'm like, oh, I can do that for 15 minutes. I can get that done in 15 minutes. I can get that started in 15 minutes. So what is the 15-minute hustle? Well, here's how it was born. My son, when he was young, was really, really wild and crazy, and I could not leave him alone for a second. He would hurt himself or damage something or others or whatever. He was just like crazy wild cat. Tasmanian devil, maybe, but I don't never liked using that word because that he was such a sweet kid, loving, um, adorable, sweet kid, and just was never malicious, but very uh, curious. So Curious George meets Dennis the Menace. He was just kind of uh, so funny and such a great kid. Now I say kid, he's going to be 22. Um, but when he was younger, I couldn't hardly get anything done without him attached to me because I always had to supervise him. He was just, he was pretty wild. 
And so what I realized is that maybe I had about 15 minutes um, before any all hell was going to break loose, to be honest. So I would set timers 15 minutes and be like, I have to get stuff done. Well, the way I did this was to create a master task list. So we're going to go through all of this. But first things first, in 15 minutes, you have to know what it is you want. What are your goals? What do you want to accomplish? This is part of your list that you're going to make. But also, you just need to know what you want. If you have 15 minutes to spare, you have to know exactly what you're going to do in those 15 minutes to get things done. What is your goal? What do you want to accomplish? The biggest goal you can come up with, even. You're in a perfect world. No, no passive, oh, well, I kind of want this kind of that. What is it that you want? Why are you here? Why are you doing business? Or if it's just your 15 minute task list that you're making for your home or your chores, or you're just to do's and domestically, like what is your goal? Is it peaceful, a peaceful, organized home where everything has a place and everything's put away and everything feels clean and fresh and things are done. And you just feel like you can sit on the couch at the end of the day and go, everything's done and everything's where it's supposed to be. Like that's the in a perfect world, right? Knowing what you want and setting those goals, business goals. If you say, hey, I'd like to sell $100,000 in in sales this year. That's what I want. Then we have to know what we want and start defining the steps to get there. Of course, you can get all of this information. If you want to know how to define your in a perfect world and your goals and set goals for yourselves with practical steps, get my book, Dream Big, Step Small. You can buy it on Amazon. You can listen to it on Audible. You can go to mommyincome.com and buy the book, a signed copy um, if you want to buy it from the website and read the book and create your in a perfect world, you guys. I wrote a book on this so that you could dream big and step really small towards those goals. This is the kind of stepping small that I do every day. 15 minute hustles. It will change your life. But first, you need to know what you want. How can you aim at something if you don't have a target? What's the target? The target is your goals. What do you want? What do you want to accomplish? And that's this can be from anything from weight loss and eating healthier to saving money or paying off debt or building a business. I apply this principle to everything I do. Everything. I couldn't when my kids were young and my son was terrorizing his sister and all over the place. I was working in 15 minute hustles. I had a small eBay business that I was trying to get things done for and I had a master list of things I do. That is the number two step. Number one step of your 15 minute hustle and getting more done in your business, in your life is knowing what you want and what you're working towards. Even if it's I want to clean out my basement by the end of 2022. (laughs) <laughs> like 2020. Oh, that was a long time ago. <laughs> I want to clean out my basement um, between for, for 2022 by the end of the year. Okay. That's like right now it's like three months, right? You got three months to do that. You can do it 15 minutes at a time. You don't have to do it all in one chunk and be completely overwhelmed and work 16 hours a day to get it done. Nope. 15 minutes. You can say by the end of the year, my basement will be clean and fresh. All the things will be donated that I don't want. All the things will be put into a home, whatever that is for you. So it doesn't have to be a business strategy, but you have to start number one with a goal. You're in a perfect world, your goal, your idea, what do you want to accomplish? And then number two is the master task list. Once you figure out what you want and what you're aiming at, what is your goal, then you have to make a master list of all the things that will need to take place in order for that goal to be reached. Everything. Master list. There's no wrong answer here. If literally it is take out the trash is one of the lists or the tasks on the list, then take out the trash. That's part of it. Write it down. All the personal things, the big things and the small things, domestic and outsourced, personal and business, what needs to be done? So creating that master list is really, really important for you. And y'all, did you know that I have a master task list, FBA task list that you can you can get? If you have my wholesale bundle system, you already have it. It is in your modules. But if you don't have it, you can go to mommyincome.com forward slash system and you can get the wholesale bundle system and then you can have the the FBA task list. This is daily, monthly, weekly, quarterly, yearly list of things that you should be doing on a regular basis if you're selling on Amazon. So that is a task list I've created for my students so that they don't have to even guess at what the things that they need to do in their business to get done. So having a master list. Now, if you're doing this personally and you're like saying, okay, I want to clean out my basement. We'll use that as an example. 
then what are all the things that you need to do on the list? And they don't have to be all done today. This is part of your 15 minute hustle. Your 15 minute hustle first is making the list of the things you need to do. You don't need to do all of them now. You just have to make a list. And then when you have 15 minutes, you pick one thing from that list and you take care of it. And you don't even have to take care of all of it. You just get it started. Do you guys know that the number one thing that stops people is just procrastination and fear? Fear of being overwhelmed, fear of not being able to get it done, fear of not knowing what you're doing, fear of screwing it up, fear of, I don't know, all the things. That's what stops us. Or you say things like, or excuses like, I don't have time. I don't have time to overhaul my entire basement that's full of years of pile up. I don't have time to do that. Do you have 15 minutes? Can you go down there and say, I will fill one paper bag with things that I can donate in 15 minutes? You can absolutely do that. I do it every single week. <laughs> that's actually, I don't know. Note to self, do you guys know that about me? Every week I get rid of a paper sack full of miscellaneous items that no one's using or I donate them, give them away, um, throw them away, a paper sack full of stuff every week. You'd be surprised what accumulates even in a week. And we just have access of things that just, the clutter is driving me crazy. But that can be done in 15 minutes. You can walk around room to room to each house and be like, hey, do you have anything to donate? Anything you're not using, wearing, using, um, touching, anything? That can be done. So making the number two is making a list of all the things that need to be done to accomplish your goal, big and small. You're going to have to put some effort here, but 15 minutes of effort. So sit down. This, that's going to be your challenge at the end of this podcast. Sit down for 15 minutes, set your timer and make the list. Make your Say, I want this. Write that down on the top of the paper. I want to accomplish this or this is my goal. Here are all the things I'm going to need to do and accomplish to get to that goal. That's the 15 minute hustle of just brainstorming, no wrong answers, just write as much stuff as you can think of all the different tasks. And then the next 15 minute hustle is to prioritize this list that you're making. Prioritize it specifically in business. You're going to prioritize your list by money making tasks first. See, oftentimes we can have a list of stuff, but we don't know what's the best or we haven't figured out or given it some thought or effort as to what are the most important things on this list? Because everything seems urgent to us all the time, right? Everything. If we literally sit down and think about, it, oh my gosh, well, I have to do this, but I can't do this without doing this. And I have to do this without doing. <sighs> can y'all practice something with me real quick? Just real quick. I want you wherever you are right now, wherever you are right now, just say this out loud with me. Not everything is urgent. Not everything's urgent. Tell yourself that not everything is urgent. It's not. How many times have you had illness or sickness or you've done something or you just some life got in the way or you didn't feel good or something like that and you're just like, eh, I'm going to go ahead and handle that tomorrow. I just don't have the capacity today. And guess what happened? <laughs> Probably nothing. One day went by, you didn't do that thing, and it was okay. Things still need to be done, but remembering that things are not urgent. We need to prioritize, especially in business, the things that make us money first. Now, if you're talking personal tasks, if you're talking tasks like domestic or things like that, then I would tell you to prioritize your list based on what gives you the most peace. In business, money-making tasks come first because you are in business. It's not a hobby. It's not something like that. You are in business to make a profit. So money-making tasks come first in your priority list of all the lists that you just made of all the things. Now we're going to order that list. Business lists go money-making tasks first, tasks that directly relate to your bottom line. So if you're Amazon, it's ordering products, creating listings, sending in your inventory, checking for listing errors, anything that costs you money if you don't do it, like removing your dead inventory or anything that costs fees, those are what you pay attention to first. 
money making tasks go first. So anything that causes you to lose money or earn money, those tasks need to go first. Then comes the things that support the money making tasks, researching new products, feedback, follow up, um, removal orders, making sure that all of your customer service stuff is taken care of. So those are going to be your priorities. If it's a personal domestic list that you're making, and by the way, y'all, I have lists of all these things. I have a 15 minute hustle list for personal and domestic items that I need to get done and also for my business and they're two separate things. But I run the life the same. I even do it with my hobbies, y'all. A couple years back, pandemic type times, I learned how to play cornhole. Why? Because my whole family was playing and I was the only one not playing and I really was like, okay, I don't want to sit on the sidelines anymore, but I'm not good. So I decided for 15 minutes a day, I was going to practice and that's it. Nothing other than I want to be better than I am today and I'm going to dedicate 15 minutes a day to practicing playing cornhole. Y'all, I got to tell you, I won a couple championships. I won some money. My husband and I got uh, first place, second place, third place. I've had, I, I've done it just in a couple of years. 15 minutes a day is progress and it's significant, consistent progress every day. Just think about that. It compounds. It's like compound interest. If you have money in the bank, it just sits there, but it earns 10% a year and you do nothing and it still earns money. Well, your compound efforts result in the same types of things. If you do the same thing every single day, 15 minutes over and over and over again, you will get better at it. Muscle memory will happen. Mental muscle memory happens as well. When you do things over and over, you get better. You improve. You see ways that you can do it more efficiently. That's exactly why we're consistent. That's exactly why we need to be consistent at things. So your 15 minute hustle, it starts like this. Know what you want. Have a goal. Have your in a perfect world, whether it's big or small, personal or domestic or business, whatever that is. Second, create your master task list of all the things that need to happen in order for you to accomplish that goal. Who's going to need who's going to need to support you? What are you going to need to learn? What are you going to need to execute? What are you going to need to buy? What are you going to need to change? All of the different things. What are the tasks? What are the action steps that you need to do to get to that goal? And then thirdly is prioritizing the list with money-making tasks first, then supporting money-making tasks, things that will, will eventually bring the money, which is researching new products, you know, things like that. Um, if it's a personal list that you're making, then you prioritize that list based on the peace level that it gives you. So if you cannot stand the dirty dishes piling up and that really just, you can't sit down, you can't relax, you can't do anything until those dishes are done, then that's going to be priority one for you because you won't be able to relax. <clears throat> Excuse me. You won't be able to relax and have peace if you don't have the dishes done. So for you, that's a priority. For me, I have to clear the clutter and clear the counter. Like I have a major counter and my, my clear, clearing the island of all the extra debris that ends up on it every day is like my peace moment. It's like, I can't go to bed at night knowing that my island is not cleaned off and that things are put away the way that they need to be put away. Um, and so whatever brings you the most peace, those are the things, whatever is nagging you that you want to get done. Remember, prioritize by that. You don't have to get the entire task done in the 15 minute allotment. What it is, it's a trick. It is a mental mindset trick that you are tricking yourself into. That's what a 15 minute hustle is. It's like a bait and switch. It's like focusing on the task at hand and not about the outcome. That is a really, really important thing. Getting started is the biggest problem most people have in anything. Starting the project starting the thing that you've been putting off. So cleaning the basement, we'll go back to that. Like the reason I won't do it or hadn't done it or I haven't been doing it is because, oh no, all the excuses come. It's going to take forever. I don't know what to do all the, with all the things. I don't even know where to start because it's all so overwhelming and all seems urgent. Well, we already said it's not urgent. My basement's been a huge mess for three years and it hasn't, it's not getting any better as long as I'm not doing anything about it. So it's not going anywhere. It's not urgent. What can I do today in 15 minutes to move the needle? And guess what? That comes with an instant reward. It's progress. It's better than it was yesterday. And that's fine. This is not a race, people. That's also what I need to let you know. There's no race. 
there's no someone that you're chasing to the same finish line. It's your finish line. It's your goal. There's no one racing you to the end of that line. It's just you versus you. And if you want to make short progress today, just make short progress, but make some. Be consistent. You can, you can do anything in 15 minutes. You can do nothing in 15 minutes if you want to. But you can get something started in 15 minutes and then pat yourself on the back. The reward is the progress, not the outcome. The goal is where you're aiming. But you want to enjoy the process. Focus on the process and not the outcome. I am going to go downstairs and fill a paper sack with stuff to donate from my basement 15 minutes a day until it's done. However long that takes. And you let yourself off the hook. If that 15 minute timer goes off and you completed your task, you're done. And even if you did, even if you didn't complete that task, you got started and that's all that matters. And tomorrow you can come back and pick up where you left off. 15 minute, my 15 minute hustle chart too, it only allows for four 15 minute hustles. Now you could add as many as you want to on there, but the idea is four 15 minute hustles a day, the must do items. The, the ebook comes with the chart that you can print off. Mine's printed and laminated so I can use whiteboard erase marker on mine. And I have four tasks every single day that are must do's that get me towards the goal that I want to go towards. It's a mental trick because honestly, you know what the things are? The things that I struggle with the most are the ones that I'm afraid of. Fear. That's causes procrastination. I don't, fear is I don't know how. So I have to learn and that's going to be hard. And so that's scary. And so I don't know. Let me go wash the dishes instead. <laughs> let me go take a walk. Let me do any other thing than the task in front of me. But you know what? Sometimes they say, okay, I'm scared. I don't want to do this. I have to learn something new and I hate it. But guess what? I'm going to set that timer and I'm gonna say, I'm going to do it for 15 minutes. And you know what happens? Oftentimes I end up finishing the task, laughing at myself saying, that was not as hard as I thought it was. Why did I put that off for so long? Sometimes I get it done in five minutes and I'm like, what happened? How come I avoided this task for so long and it only took me five minutes once I learned how to do what it was? I mean, sometimes we can just laugh at ourselves and be like, yeah, I've been putting this this five minute task off for two weeks. <laughs> it's laughable when we say that out loud, you guys. But honestly, done is the first reward. You got something done. The other reward is getting started. You no longer procrastinated. You actually got started. Getting started is most of the problem. Have you guys ever like decided you're going to go start working out again? Maybe you haven't been working out and you're like, okay, I'm going to go start working out again and I'm going to the gym on Monday morning. Monday morning comes and you're like, oh, I just don't feel like it. I'm just this. I'm tired. I need more coffee. I have a headache, blah, blah, blah. But what if you're just like, okay, I don't even have to go into the gym. All I have to do is get in my car and go there. And if I decide I don't want to go in, then I'm not going in. Getting there is half the battle. Because once you get there, you're going to be like, well, I'm already here and I'm already dressed. I might as well go in and work out. 15 minutes. What do you say? Okay, I'm only going to take a 15 minute walk today. And then you're out there and you realize, hey, this feels great. I'm going to keep walking. It's like you're tricking yourself into getting the bigger task done by promising yourself you only have to do it for 15 minutes. I swear it's this Jedi mind trick that we use that really actually works. Just getting started and focusing on the, the process rather than the outcome is so, so important. Telling yourself, I can do anything for 15 minutes, even if it's something that you hate. We can all do something for 15 minutes. And 15 minutes makes a dent in whatever it is you're doing. Even if you don't finish it all, you made a dent, which is better than making excuses. We do a lot. We do that a lot, don't we? They're so subtle, these excuses we make. Well, I just didn't get to it. I didn't have enough time to do it all. Oh, I don't really like doing that. I don't really know how. And then I have to learn. And then I have to do this. And then I have to implement. Uh, just excuse. Not feeling good. Yeah. Okay. There's always valid reasons why we can't accomplish certain things. 
But really dig down deep and ask yourself, are you just putting this off because you don't know how, because you're scared of it, because you don't know what you're doing, because it feels awkward, because it's new or uncomfortable, or you already know it's going to be hard, aka working out, right? <laughs> like I already know working out is going to be hard and sweaty and just like, oh, I have to do this thing. But once you get started, you can just get over that. Getting started. And y'all, once you get started, there's no reason to half-ass something. No, pardon my language. I don't often cuss, but there's no other word for that. Like, if you're going to do it, even for 15 minutes, just do your best for 15 minutes. And then let yourself off the hook. Let your timer beep and be like, yes, I'm done with that. But I promise you that even 15 minutes of exercise every single day is better than not doing any. Even if it is your laziest, leisurely walk, it's better than sitting, right? But we all have this mentality that if we don't go hard and go big or go home, that we're not getting anything done. I challenge that right here and right now, that the reason I'm sitting in this chair and the reason I have success and the reason why I get a lot of stuff done, the reason I can run two businesses at the same time is 15-minute hustles. Because I know I can accomplish things in 15-minute hustles. I've done it. You can do it. You can do that hard thing that you're putting off in 15-minute increments. You can. Because you know what? Time is universally limited. That is one thing that we can all agree on, right? We don't have to agree on politics or religion or business or money or parenting strategies or the weather even. But we all can agree that time is universal and it's very limited. Each person that's breathing on this planet, no matter the age, gender, race, religion, country of origin, status, money, financial wealth, none of those things matter. We all have 168 hours a week and that is it. Now, I'm not saying at all that Oprah's 168 hours and my 168 hours are the same. They're the same amount of time. But someone with additional resources can outsource things that maybe I couldn't outsource. So yes, I'm not going to pretend that resources don't help with your time management and or how you spend your time. Because certainly, if you have a lot of resources, you can hire everything out. You don't have to clean your own house. You don't even have to do your own laundry. If you can afford a chef, you could have someone cook for you. And that frees up your time to do whatever it is you want to do with your time because you have resources to pay for that. So I'm not going to pretend that resources and money and situations like that don't change how you have to spend your time. But it doesn't mean that we can make excuses and just say we don't have time for anything. I challenge you to change the language and say, that's not a priority for me right now. Whether it's financial or time or I've got other commitments, just say, that's not a priority for me right now. You know? That's honest. You can make an excuse of why you can't, why you won't, why you refuse, why you're putting it off. Or you can just say, that's not a priority for me right now. That's why I'm not doing it. It's not important enough. Just call it what it is. But you can move any task forward in 15 minutes a day. It's more about getting started, especially for tasks that we don't like or we don't enjoy or are going to be hard or we're going to have to learn something new. Time is going to pass and it's precious and it's universally limited. So it's time for you to take the 15-minute hustle challenge. Go to 15minutehustle.com, download the book, get the book, make your, make your master task list of what you need to do and get yourself a timer. Use it on your phone. There's a stopwatch on everybody's phone or timer on, on your phone or on your desktop or you can get one of these. I mean, I got one from Amazon. This, this is the little timer that I can, you know, turn it here and have it say 15 minutes. It's the best one that there is. So anyway, and see, mine beeps. <laughs> tells you time's up it's time to go get yourself a 15 minute timer get the 15 minute hustle 15 minute hustle.com and get more stuff done utilize that time wisely and of course pat yourself on the back for doing it we need rewards we need to motivate ourselves especially as entrepreneurs 
So congrats, 15 minutes. What can you do with your next 15 minute hustle? Y'all, I know you could be anywhere else doing any other thing right now. And you're spending, I don't know, 15 minutes with me, 30 minutes with me. I don't take that for granted. Thank you so much for listening. And if this podcast has helped you, if you have learned something, if you're going to do a 15 minute hustle, I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment, subscribe, um, send me a, a DM, send me a message, admin at mommyincome.com. I'd love to hear from you. I want to know what you're rocking out on your 15 minute hustle. So also please, you can join the Facebook group, mommyincome.com forward slash join us code word is fetch. Why? I don't know. That just felt right today. Fetch. Go fetch. Go fetch your 15 minutes. Join the Facebook group. Come have a conversation with us. We'd love to chat with you and get to know you and support you in your business. Uh, Make sure you subscribe so you see all the videos, hear all the podcasts, do all those things. And I will see you same time, same place next week on the Amazon Files.